Welcome back. Things are pretty mild in our area, but Nick has been busy tracking uh, Tropical Storm Lane, yes. which was a hurricane, but is now downgraded. So. Thankfully downgraded. Yeah. Um, if you were uh, watching ABC, we did have Little League World Series on earlier. Hawaii just made it to the championship yeah, game, too. Yeah, that was so happy for them. Yes, and I'm happy to say that most of uh, their hometowns have been fine. We've been getting, getting some live reports there from Hawaii, so that's good. And uh, now Tropical Storm. The last update coming in just over an hour ago uh it remember hawaii six hours behind us so it's still just midday in hawaii at this point and here's that live look at tropical storm lane right there if we take a closer look honolulu now in this wind zone flash flood warnings across the island here as well as those uh, wind advisories as the uh, storm has certainly downgraded but when you're talking about a tropical storm that's still 50 mile per hour sustained winds out there so a lot of damage expected We'll keep you updated throughout the day here. Closer to home, as we zoom back in here, much calmer. We did have some storms come through southeast Ohio earlier in the day, but as they crossed the Ohio River, they really started to fade out. Some more lightning back west. Notice that right there in between Indiana and Ohio. But for now, we are certainly staying on the drier side. You can see how quickly these storms have just lost that energy. The clouds overhead actually helping us out. The amount of humidity on the low side as well, so not a lot of energy for those storms to really form up. And Futurecast does show these storms here, but watch this, continue to fade out. So we're not expecting a whole lot of action for tonight into the start of the day, but that changes quickly here. Watch this. Those storms that are out west right now in Cincinnati, what's going to happen, those are going to continue to push our direction. There's going to be enough energy, it looks like, early on tomorrow morning. We'll start to see a few isolated showers around 5 o'clock. Look at this, though. Towards 8, 9 o'clock, some stronger thunderstorm activity is expected. So if you're out early tomorrow morning trying to get some yard work done, maybe heading to church, keep an eye out for some of those stronger storms. You'll want the umbrella handy for that, certainly. Those will start to fade out through the afternoon. I think we get some dry periods here right around lunchtime before we head into the evening hours and then six seven o'clock a few more isolated showers before we start to calm down overnight but overall temperatures still fairly mild out there compared to where we've been Monday, that starts to change. You notice 74 degrees by 9 o'clock. Not good. Hillbilly Day is still going on if you are trying to head out that way. Lincoln County Memorial Fairgrounds, not a whole lot of action. 78 degrees here, dropping down to 72. A few isolated showers possible, but I think we're already starting to dry out there if you want to catch that. For next week, though, completely different change. Above average temperatures as we head into the afternoon. Below average, the cool air bottled up out west so we will be fighting that off here for the next seven days it's not looking pretty on the seven day if you like that chill air that fall like feel well you're gonna have to wait a while here monday right now some thunderstorm activity expected we actually stay drier it looks like tuesday and wednesday right now before a frontal system makes its way in a cold front sweeps in on thursday but we Looks like dry out for the start of the weekend, but temperatures again much warmer in those mid to upper 80s.